In the wonderful town of Grays Lake, a minor hero was born on April 2nd of 1935 by the name of James Obanoff. James Obanoff grew up on a farm with a big family in which he was also the youngest of nine of his siblings. James was an average kid. He didn't do anything out of the ordinary in his teenage years. But going into his high school years, he attended and graduated from Ella Vernon in 1953, or better now known as Lake Zurich High School. Obanoff was not very sure what he what to do with himself after graduating high school. He definitely had no idea where to go to college, but he had found out that the Air Force was in need of pilots, and with this news, he was able to construct a bright future for himself. He joined the Air Force right away without the required two years of college because of the desperate need for pilots at the time. Two years later, in 1955, James Obanoff had received his wings, which meant he was now certified to perform any operation commanded to him by the U.S. Air Force. Throughout his time in the Air Force, he received two major awards, one being the Distinguished Flying Cross Award and the other being the Shenny Award, which is awarded to anyone who shows an act of sacrifice, just as James did. This leads to one of his biggest achievements ever, which would probably have to be saving the life of three of his partners in the Air Force. They were running a training mission, flying around in a Model B-47 plane in the form of practice. Of course, among James was his instructor, Major J. Maxwell, and two other partners. They were flying from Texas to Denver, Colorado, and as he was piloting the B-47, the navigation hatch and canopy had blown off from the plane. James and his teammates were in big trouble. However, throughout the chaos, the aircraft commander was able to bail out through the navigator hatch, along with one other teammate, safely ejecting. But before Lt. Obanoff was able to eject himself, he saw the instructor navigator laying unconscious, unsure of what to do. James decided to risk his life to save the instructor, went back to his seat to land the plane safely, which was thought impossible by the strategic air command, but James Obanoff was capable of pulling off the stunt anyway. So, like, do you know any specifics about like when the plane crash happened or like what led up to it, like what caused it? Oh, that's a big, that's a big question. <laughs> Um, the uh, B-47E was the first jet bomber in the United States Air Force. Now, Obanoff was in 56, I guess, uh, April of 56. He was a uh, Air Force first lieutenant, which is the second level of officer in the, in the Air Force. It would be the same in Marine Corps and Army. It would be uh, Lieutenant Journey Grade in the Navy. And, uh, he was assigned a crew with a major mm -hmm. and a captain as a navigator. Uh, so there were three people with him at the time? There were four. Oh, four. I'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Uh, you you got to need to know a little bit about the aircraft, but it's very tight. And okay. the only way they get from a, pi a pilot or co-pilot's position to the, the nose of the airplane and the navigator bombardier's position is through what they call the crawlway, and it was called crawlway for a reason. It was two <laughs> feet by four feet. Oh, wow. So it's not like you take a stroll down there. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, he uh, had, was on that flight, and after they made their turn and were coming toward, coming back, uh, the, he called, actually, he called a, f uh, a fire in the number six engine. So. They, he called a fire, and the pilot immediately, because of that experience and training, gave the order to eject, eject, eject. He figured he couldn't leave the airplane because he couldn't get the guy out, so he climbed back up into the second uh, pilot's position and started to fly the airplane. He got the airplanes safely on the ground, and he won an Air Force Airman Award, called the Cheney Award, for a guy in did something remarkable in World War II, and that was pinned on him by President Eisenhower. At the oh, White wow. House. Yeah, it's a big deal. James Obanoff is currently 84 years old and is still the man he always was. Hopefully, you are able to see that even though James Obanoff wasn't the biggest celebrity ever or the most known man in the world, he was still a hero. And since he was born in Grays Lake, that makes him a hero to the people of Grays Lake, as the people of this time, which is why his legacy should continue to move on and be more acknowledged by the people who live in this town. It is important to know who James was because he had a positive impact on those who he cared about most, and now he had an impact on you. Thank you for your time, and we hope you enjoyed our video on James Obanoff and his legacy.